A little boy in holiday time set off to walk to his home. It was some distance off, but the day was bright and clear. As he walked in the shade, the birds were singing in the branches, and he felt pleased and happy. When he came out into the open fields, he saw young lambs sporting by the side of their mothers, and here and there cows were standing knee-deep in cool streams. After walking about a mile, he began to feel somewhat tired. When he reached a shady bank, where a mossy seat had been made near a spring. He threw himself at his length upon this seat and was enjoying the rest it afforded when another boy came along, seemingly much more wearied than himself, and asked him to make room that he might sit down and rest beside him in the shade. Oh, no, said our little boy. Do not ask me to move. I am so comfortable. I have found this resting place, and if you go on further, I dare say you can find another spot as pleasant, where you can also stretch yourself and rest. The little traveler thought him, no doubt, very selfish, but he said nothing and passed on. When our little boy was rested enough, he arose and resumed his walk. The sun was now pretty high, and the heat was great, and it was only here and there that shady places were to be found. He felt more and more tired, and longed to reach a large tree, which he saw at a distance, that he might rest himself in its shade. As he drew near, he found the ground all about it was wet and miry. But a rude bench had been formed beneath the tree, and on it was stretched the very same boy that had passed him an hour before. He felt, as he drew near, that he had no right to ask the boy to allow him room upon that bench to rest him. Weary and heated as he was, for had he not refused to render the same kindness a short time before to that very boy. He stood still a while, looked wistfully at the seat, and the boy who occupied it sprang up, making room for him, and said, Come, you look as tired as I was an hour ago. I know you will be glad to rest yourself in this shady place. Here is plenty of room for both of us. Come and sit down a while. Which of these two little boys felt the happier? The one who thought only of his own comfort, or he that did as he would be done by, and returned evil for good? Childhood is the holiday time of life, and you, dear little ones, are setting off for your home, the house of your Father in heaven. While your thoughts are full of cheerfulness and your hearts of innocence and good affections, one of the first evils you must try to strive against is selfishness. To give way to this evil may seem to be pleasant, but have you ever tried how much pleasanter it is to strive to do to others as we would have them do to us. Now, the first chance you have, try this. Yes, let us do to others what we would have them do to us.